Welcome to Yankee Stadium. You got me? There we go. Yeah, I got you, man. Uh, let's go. Hey, thanks a lot for doing this, man. Uh, especially on a Sunday night. I know there's a lot of stuff going on that you could be doing right now. So I appreciate uh, it. No, thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Your room is so janky. Oh, appreciate like it, man. It. Yeah, this is uh, NYY Recap Studio, man. This is, uh, I spent a lot of time working uh, on this yeah. this winter. So I appreciate that. I like the jersey behind you. It's so good. I tell you what, man, you make the big leagues. I'll put your jersey back there. We'll get you to sign oh, it. Thank you. We'll yeah, have of your course. Debut episode. I'll have your jersey. That'd be awesome. Right. Uh, you're actually the first athlete that I've had on the show. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the defensive side of the ball because, you know, catching is a position that not a lot of people understand. They, a lot of people think it's just, you know, catch the ball, throw it back to the pitcher but they don't understand that you're really the quarterback of the infield and it's an yeah. extremely difficult position. You got to block 90 mile an hour fastballs in the dirt and deal with foul tips and wear a bunch of equipment in the heat of the summer. What made you want to become a catcher? Well, I started playing catcher like when I was 12 years old and I fell in love with that position because I always like to be active in the game, you know, Sometimes you are an outfield and you can be nine innings without fly balls or any ground ball, or you can be on the short stop and you can don't receive any rally. But when you ask a catcher, you are in the game all the time. You know, 27 outs, 27 outs, you need to be there, focus on the game. Do you, you have, well, I have the strategy part of the game. I, with the pitching coach, why he, what they, but it's the weakness of the heaters or why I need to tell my pitcher for a kid to refocus on the game, all that stuff. And that's why I love the catcher, you know? Yeah. I always thought the most important part of a catcher's job was really working with the pitching staff, you know, you know, calling a game and, and uh, making sure that, you know, when, when a pitcher's going through a rough time, you, you kind of go out there and settle them down the, the catcher is supposed to be the smartest guy on the field. So uh, yeah. kudos, kudos to you, man. It should be. It should be. <laughs> All right. So, so I got to ask, though, as a catcher, I know a lot of catchers take pride in their defense. Would you rather hit a home run or would you rather gun down a runner? Uh, that's a cause, dumbass question. Well, it's a pen. Because if you put me on the World Series, game seven, base loaded, and you are a hitter and you hit a homer. Oh my God. It could be yeah. better than anything, you know? But throwing the last out in seconds, it's so good too. But I don't know. I rate in the same position, in the same feeling, you know? It's yeah. so good both, both, both then. So I, I love both part of the game, hitting and defense. A lot of people say that the, um, triple or the inside of the park home run is the most exciting thing in baseball, but I love the strike them out, throw them out, double play to end the inning. Like you said, yeah. that's, that's really fun. It's like, is the yeah. pitcher and the catcher both get really amped up. The second baseman gets into it. Bench is going nuts. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a ton. That's a ton of fun, man. For me, that that's my best friend. When I got that double play, that's my best friend. That double play, right? So I can't, I'm saying, I love that. So I've seen you tweet your support for the Yankees a lot. Uh, were you a fan of the Yankees coming up? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. was like Yankees. You know, that's the team, like, the longest history in the MLB. It's, you know, the Yankees. And you, you can go to Japan and you can see a part of the Yankees. You can, you can go anywhere and Yankees is still there. So who are some of the guys that you watched that you were a big fan of, and, and that includes players that are on the team right now. Who do you watch that you think it'd be really fun to play with someday? Well, Aaron Judge is one of my favorite players, and I would love to play with him. And even in the mile leagues, I enjoy playing with Jason Dominguez. He 
he's so fun. Um, you got a lot of friends like Trey Sweeney, Cooper, uh, Brian for Pereira. They were with me last year, and they they all them. They are so good, so many good guys and big leagues. I would love to play with Josh, Glaber, Sevi, Low Icy guy, Boy. You know, it's yeah, it's a good sport, and they have a lot of many good guys and and many good players that could be fun to play with them any day. So since you brought some of these guys up, I know a lot of the people on my channel, uh, they tune in because I cover the prospects and you have more insight than anybody I've ever talked to on this show, because, you know, you play with these guys, you know, these guys. So I'm going to ask you about a couple of prospects. I would love to just hear your impressions about them. You just mentioned Jason Dominguez. Obviously uh, he's been a, a very popular prospect. One of his cards, his baseball cards just sold for $474,000. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sure it was probably him who bought it on eBay, but, <laughs> but uh, uh, tell me, tell me what you, uh, what your impressions are of Jason Dominguez. Um, well, Jason, he's good uh, in and off the field. You know what I mean? He is, he's humble. He's proud. He, he got proud to be a Yankee. He's a hard worker. You know, it's fun take care of him because he always like here you know he he always listen like mm. if you're gonna tell him something he's not like the the ego guy like ah, i don't know he's said nothing no no he 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 listened to you and he take the the best thing that you can tell him and he just put in work you know that that's why he's one of the best like players in the minor leagues right now and he's gonna be one of the best and then will be soon you also mentioned Trey Sweeney. He was the Yankees' first-round draft pick, and we haven't really seen much of him yet because he hasn't been to spring training yet. Give us a little bit of intel on Trey Sweeney. Yeah, ah, that's my boy. I love playing with him. Um, he he's so smart playing baseball. You know, he he knows we need to be for play for for guy or ground ball. He he know about his uh, offensive of the uh, opposite team. You know everything. He he just looked something and he he did it. You know it's that type of guy. He's so, so good. Very high baseball IQ. I like the sound of that. And the last guy I want to talk to you about is a guy that I've been watching for the last year or so who really impressed me. Everson Pereira. He's got a beautiful swing. Tell me about Everson. He has the best, the the most faster hands I ever seen in my life. You know what I mean? Like he he's so smart to hit. He he got a a, a quote actually. He say if I ain't, if I don't gonna hit a homer, I don't swing the ball. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like he's like that. He just when he go to home play, he just focus. He his focus is on his pitcher. He he can hear anything. He he told me that like he he doesn't hear anything. He he doesn't look anything, nothing more the picture, just the picture. You know what I mean? He's so he's a smart guy. He's my friend. Like we are close. We are so close. And I hope see he he, he I hope see him soon. Now, as a catcher, you get a inside look at the Yankees pitchers in the minor leagues. I've heard some rumors that we got some nasty arms down there. Is there anybody in particular yeah. that stands out to you? For me, everyone there is so good. Every pitcher we have, they're so good. Really. Uh, I can tell you, like, Joe Andrews Gomez is one of my, my friends, and he's real really nasty pitcher. Uh, Bagway, uh with nice key um i don't know they have the mac crook so many good pitchers they are so good like i i love all the pitch stuff your new manager is going to be rachel baklovec uh have you met yeah. rachel have you worked with rachel at all uh, of course of course last year we met i met rachel in 2020 no 
yeah, I think that it was the pandemic. I, I met her in 2021 in spring training and we immediately like we connected. Like she knows what I need to do and I just hear I, I just hear what she's she gonna say for made me better, you know? So we start working together from the spring training and then we we got standard spring training. We're still playing uh, working together. And then FCL, she was the hitting coach in the affiliate, and it was amazing. You know, she she knows about and she knows everything about baseball. Like she knows everything. She she knows <laughs> how how what she knows how no sorry she knows what you need to do for be better. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, to come and do this interview, man. I wish you a ton of luck this year. I think you're going to have a great season. Thank you. Uh, I, Thank I've you. been I've been following your uh, your videos that you're posting, and I mean you've got the tools, man. So I have no doubt that you're going to make it. So keep working hard. Thank you, man. Thank you. Ho- appreciate it. Hopefully, appreciate hopefully it. we'll have you back on after you make your major league debut. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let next year could be could be fun. Could be fun. <laughs>